With a thrilling last minute drive to win the game, Charlie Strong and the Bulls of South Florida remain unbeaten, improving their record to 6-0 for the second straight season, moving them into the top 20 for the 31st time in program history. In college football, every game is special. Every opponent is a unique challenge. For a program to win and win consistently, it takes more than raw talent or a perfect game plan. Barnett to McCann, she makes the catch! For South Florida, strength comes from belief in each other, a commitment from players to their coaches, work ethic and trust, mental toughness and maturity of character. Charlie Strong brought this mentality to South Florida, complementing an athletic culture defined by excellence on and off the field. The Bulls are 34 and six in their last 40 games, a record that ties Oklahoma for fourth best nationally and trails only Alabama, Clemson, and Ohio State. And USF with a great comeback here in the second half. Their victory over Tulsa marked the earliest date of bowl eligibility in program history. Conference and school records have been broken, with more undoubtedly soon to come. Consistent success, and under the guiding hand of Coach Strong, there's no better time to be a bull. Where does strength come from? The Bulls knock off a power five team in your a city, for the second your home, or is it where you are going? And this is going for a touchdown, six for the Bulls. All the work and effort that brought you here to the moments that define you. Strength isn't about what you can do. It's about what can be accomplished as a team family pushing each other toward greatness to define their own legacy for a new era on the bay this is bulls country bull strong inside usf football two claps in the rip claps two claps in the rip claps Woo! We got a lot of speed. A lot of speed comes out of Florida. Extremely fast. We can all play with anybody in this country. With anybody in the country. We're hungry. We have a chip on our shoulder. Uh, we continue to go out there and fight each and every day. Hey, what's wrong with being the underdog? No matter what it takes, we, we just gonna try to win. That's what we're gonna come out there and do and just show the world. We can run with anybody. So now it's just a start, but we're gonna keep it going. It's time to you know put the lights on and, and start the show. Bull Strong Inside USF Football is presented by Coca-Cola. Hooters. Tampa General Hospital. USF Health. Florida Lottery. Wendy's. Wendy's is a proud partner of USF Athletics. And when the Bulls play, you win. Get a free small fry after each Bulls football game and score a free small frosty when they win. Valid for 24 hours after any game day at participating Tampa area Wendy's locations. No purchase necessary. I think brotherhood just means having each other's back um, in times of need and good times and bad times, just knowing that other people are there for you. Um, and I think in the times of need, it really says a lot just to be able to persevere through those times and do it all together. It doesn't matter like where you were before here, what high school you went to, what uh, city, what state you are. Like we're all together and we all can count on each other and we all know that we all have one goal and that's just to win, firstly to win our conference and then again, trying to win the highest championship that we can. This segment of Bull Strong Inside USF Football is presented by Tampa General Hospital. We have fun 
We have fun. There's a lot of characters. I mean, it's just, it's always a fun, it's always a funny place. You, you'll always get a laugh one or two days out of the, you'll every, honestly every day, you'll laugh every day. We always come up with jokes. We always mess around with each other, like just having fun. I mean, at the end of the day, we know that we all come, come together and we all know how to do our assignments and whatnot, but it's always about like knowing each other and just getting closer to each other. And I think that's actually really helped us. You know, going out there each and every day with, our bro uh, with my brothers in practice. Um, we go out there and compete. Sometimes we fight. Um, boy, I feel like it only makes us stronger. Uh, it only makes us better. We go out and compete each and every day um, to push one another. Honestly, uh, we're resilient. Uh, we're physical. And uh, we're a team. We love each other. You know, um, you know we really put, up, put ourselves on the line for each other each and every day. Uh, we're going to fight for our brothers. So. It comes from the coaches and the players just being around each other. I think that's how you uh, create relationships with your teammates, being around each other all the time. Um, we're always around each other, here in the facility, at home, going to get something to eat, going to do something that's just a unit or something like that. We're always around each other, and we just build that trust in each other, and that's how we become brothers. I think being able to know that you can depend on the person to the left of you and the right of you, just to know that they'll give it all they got for you and you'll give it all you got for them, that just makes the team like a better collective by far. Well, we all, we all know we each bring to the table. We all know what we're capable of doing and we just trust each other. I mean, pretty much I knew all those guys before I even got here from us being so close when we were back at home. So, I mean, once we got here, it was like, okay, I already know you, so we're already gonna merge together as a family and go from there. Yeah, I really think this is a, a, a team effort and a team uh, um, environment. Um, guys really getting along, the whole brotherhood thing is real here. Um, guys really care about each other. I think it, the, the, the men in the, in the program, you have to feel comfortable uh, going to the, the guy next to you and ex expressing whatever you have to express. Understanding that there, there are always arms and somebody willing to listen to you, console you, push you, motivate you. I think that's the, one of the unique things about our program that we have. We have, we have all of that. It's home away from home. I mean, that's something that we, we live in and die on here as brotherhood. I mean, I'm trusting every single one of those guys like they're trusting me. So, I mean, if there's one thing I can tell a recruit coming in here is brotherhood. That's something that we, we really take pride in. Football back down south is everything to the, to me and other players on this ball club. Football is everything. You either and playing football, you're not doing the right thing. So in Miami, football is the only thing that everybody support to the fullest. It's all we know. It's, um, it keeps us in line. and It's something that a lot of players here and everywhere around the country have been playing since they were little. So I mean, it's all we know and we breed football. This segment of Bull Strong Inside USF Football is presented by Wendy's. Another road trip for the South Florida Bulls, this time to Tulsa, where the Golden Hurricane were working with an extra day's rest, where the Bulls were playing on a short week. But over the last three years, the Green and Gold have built the best record in the American Conference because things like that don't get in their way. The circumstances surrounding a game are not important. The work it takes to win it are, and they never quit. That's how you become one of only eight unbeaten teams in the country. They would be tested, but they are used to that. All of their success has put a target on their backs, week in and week out. Here's Boomer on third down and eight. Has some time, now running out of time, and he'll fling it to the sideline out of bounds. Good pressure from Kirk Livingstone off the edge. The Bulls held Tulsa to six total yards on their first two possessions, but then the Golden Hurricane scored first. Man open, it's Jerry and Anderson, and he'll walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Tulsa. Going deep again, down the middle, hauled in. 
What a play by Mitchell Wilcox. Wilcox's acrobatics converted a third and 15 as coordinator Sterling Gilbert's offense answered with an 11 play scoring drive. Barnett, quick strike to McCants. Gets loose. And he's out at the 10 yard line. The drive stalled, but there was foreshadowing on the strength of Colby Weiss's leg. Weiss hits. It's seven three. USF's defense had a strong half, forcing five Tulsa punts. Down is Boomer here at the 41. That's Tyrone Barber. There's Boomer. Setting, throwing over the middle. Incomplete knockdown. My man, Ronnie Hawkins. The Bulls' defense allowed just 134 yards in the half, and four times they held Tulsa to a three and out. Yet they still found themselves trailing at the break. To the end zone. Incomplete. Pretty well covered there by Hoggins again. Hoggins and company continued to play stingy football. A late field goal made it 10 to 3 Tulsa at halftime. But the Bulls had enough confidence in their offense to be patient, and it took just three plays into the third quarter to tie the game. Big run. Cronkite gets loose. This is what he's been doing all season, and the Bulls have been waiting for it tonight. A long touchdown run for Jordan Cronkite. 66 yards to the house. Cronkite is third in the NCAA in rushing and would go over 100 yards for the fourth straight game. South Florida has built one of the top 15 offenses in the country, but the joy was short-lived. The rest of the quarter belonged to Tulsa. Right up the middle. And now Tulsa opens up a two-score lead. You could say the Bulls had them right where they wanted them, considering the come-from-behind ability they've shown all season. Obviously, it's not the way they had things planned. Ford gets to the corner, and he's out at the two. Cance goes in motion. They fake the handoff. Barnett rolling out. He can run a bit, and he gets to the end zone. Touchdown. Good teams adapt to adversity, and the Bulls would face some more. Somebody got a hand on it. No good, and that is a huge block. But quarterback Blake Barnett would not be deterred. Barnett an opportunity to get a ball off. Here he comes. Barnett eludes Gibson's rush, and he's going to pick up the first down. Here he is on first down for midfield. Complete, caught at the 35. Solomon spins away from defenders, and he gets inside the 15-yard line. The Bulls had been in tight spots already during the season, having come back from double-digit fourth-quarter deficits twice. Barnett will hang on to it, and he's going to go into the end zone. Touchdown, Blake Barnett. When the two-point conversion try failed with just over two minutes left, it was up to the defense. And he'll hand off to Brooks, and he is going to be met and swung down at the 20 by Sotel. And now it's fourth down, and Tulsa's going to have to punt it away with a minute and 45 seconds to go. This is a great situation for USF. Their offense has momentum. They only need a field goal. When it matters most, when it's the toughest to produce, fourth quarter crunch time, the Bulls have dominated all season. Barnett to McCants, he makes the catch! And he's inside the five-yard line. Ty Reba Kantz, first down, goal to go with eight seconds. They'll run up to the line, and Barnett will spike it with five seconds on the clock. The defense held Tulsa to four yards in the fourth quarter. The offense already scored two fourth-quarter touchdowns. Special teams could finish the job. Kick is up, and good, and USF with a great comeback here in the second half. Sweat, grit, and a refusal to quit, making USF bowl eligible at the earliest point in school history. Baby, once again, six and no, baby. Hey. hey, it was a tough one, but we came through. We came through, fought for all four quarters. Hey, that, that's why you never quit in the game. Never, never quit. Never. I like my kicker. I love him. And yeah, that's how you finish right there. Me and my guy right here, that's how you finish, man.
The standard is just to be the best. We, we would take nothing less. We have to play the best on game day, practice the best, work out the best, hydrate, nutrition the best. We just got to be the best in everything that we do. We can compete with anybody. Uh, anybody you put us on the field with, I feel like we have an opportunity and a chance to win. You know, we're going to play hard, we're going to play physical, and you're going to get great coaching. And, you know, the opportunity, if, if your opportunity to dream is you want to go to the next level, is there too. We got a lot of speed. A lot of speed comes out of Florida. Extremely fast. We can all play with anybody in this country. With anybody in the country. We're hungry. We have a chip on our shoulder. Uh, we continue to go out there and fight each and every day. Hey, what's wrong with being the underdog? No matter what it takes, we, we just gonna try to win. That's what we're gonna come out there and do and just show the world. We can run with anybody. So now it's just a start, but we're gonna keep it going. It's time to you know put the lights on and, and start the show. Full Strong Inside USF Football is presented by Coca-Cola, Hooters, Tampa General Hospital, USF Health, Florida Lottery, Wendy's. Wendy's is a proud partner of USF Athletics. And when the Bulls play, you win. Get a free small fry after each Bulls football game and score a free small frosty when they win. Valid for 24 hours after any game day at participating Tampa area Wendy's locations. No purchase necessary. A lot of these guys in this locker room, uh, in this facility, have to our shoulder. We kind of overlooked as a recruiter at being recruited came here to try to prove something and we all came together and it means a lot for a program like us you know people kind of look down on us on uh, the bigger schools like the big boy schools kind of see us as a little underdogs but we're not a bunch of underdogs we're a great program we have athletes from all around the state especially and we can all play with anybody in this country and it, it means a lot to uh, all of us to be you know playing well The Bull Strong Inside USF Football Postgame Report is brought to you by USF Health. And that does it. 25-24, USF remains unbeaten. What a comeback here in Tulsa. You look at this team and you just look at how resilient these guys are and how they continue to just battle back and never think they're going to uh, lose a game. During the first half, it was just a credit to them and their defense. They, they came to play just like we came to play. And, um, you know, it was a battle. It was a tough battle the first half. I think it was only 10 to 3 going in halftime. So it's, one, it's just one of them games that you're just going to have to fight through it and um, just battle to the end. Guys really show their tenacity in it. And, um, you know, we fought through adversity. Uh, we didn't have the first half that we wanted. And um, I think the second half, uh, specifically the fourth quarter, we came out and we, we showed what we should have been doing the whole game. They're yelling, hey, we got you, coach. We're going to be OK. We're going to win this game. And I'm looking up at the clock saying, hell, we better hurry up if we're going to win it, you know? I mean, <laughs> we, don't, we don't have much time. I'm looking at the clock. They're telling me, I got you. I, we got you, coach. And then we take the ball and we score. The Cants goes in motion. They fake the handoff. Barnett rolling out. He can run a bit, and he gets to the end zone. Touchdown. There was never a quiver in anyone's mind of, of or a second guess that we weren't going to win this game. I think it was 110 on the, on the clock, no timeouts. We have gone over that exact situation countless amounts of time. He just seems one right, you know, splits two defenders. And Wilcox made an unbelievable catch. McCants and Wilcox, they always find a way to make plays. And they, you want the ball in their hands because they're unbelievable players. It was a critical play and, uh, you know, in a criti critical situation. And, uh, you know, Blake threw it up. And, you know, it's, it's my job to try to go get it the best of my ability. Barnett to McCants. He makes the catch. And he's inside the five-yard line. Tyree McCants, first down. Goal to go with eight seconds. They'll run up to the line. Just to make a play like that in that type of situation is just, you know, a, a great feeling. It's amazing how we practice those situations. I always say it's a minute 10 left. You have no timeouts, but you need a touchdown. 
So tonight it was a minute and 10 left. You have no we had uh, no timeouts and we only needed a field goal. Uh, Kobe Weiss for the lead. He has hit his last four field goal attempts in a row. Three last week, one tonight. Uh, I was just ready to go out there and kick it. I mean, uh, I mentally do a, a thousand reps every night before I go to bed and I always kick a game winner. So I I'd kick that kick a thousand times in my head. So I was, I was just ready to do it. Kick is up and good. Him stepping up there and making it, it, it was really big. And I told our guys in there a while ago, I said, we didn't know who our kicker was. They said, well, we know who he is now. But it's good to see him make that kick. And it was just a bonding special moment for us because we leaned on each other at the end of the game and kept each other into the game. We got a lot of speed. A lot of speed comes out of Florida. Extremely fast. We can all play with anybody in this country. With anybody in the country. We're hungry. We have a chip on our shoulder. We continue to go out there and fight each and every day. Hey, what's wrong with being the underdog? No matter what it takes, we, we just gonna try to win. That's what we're gonna come out there and do and just show the world. You can run with anybody. So now it's just a start, but we're gonna keep it going. It's time to you know put the lights on and, and start the show.